First of all, let's remember that with the travel agency knowledge base, we can manage the activity of a travel agency. And we already created the metadata for the end user to define queries using GX Queries web interface. Now we will find out how to define some queries with results in pivot tables, meaning dynamic tables with which we can, for instance, interchange columns and also group information differently. We then go into GX Query Web with the identification of the administrator user. Then we select the metadata to be used, and then select New Pivot Table. The purpose of the first query we will define will be to know the number of tourist attractions in each city, for each country registered. And we will call this query Attraction Quantity Per City Country. We must also indicate the folder where the query will be created. As we see, by default, it will be folder Queries. We then press OK, and now stop to explain what we have in front of us. This window shows, to the user, the attributes available that the user can use in queries, corresponding to the attributes defined in the knowledge base, which were included in the metadata, and for which the user identified has an access permit. Now, what is represented by this group of areas or sections here? They are the different parts of a pivot table. Let's describe them. The values area is used to include calculations like additions, operations, averages, and so on. It is the core of the pivot table. In practice, we will see that we drag desired attributes to this area. The rows area is used to show particular values that represent concepts based on those which we want to group or itemize, like countries, cities, and so on. The data type here may be any. The columns area contains column headers, and are special elements in pivot tables since it's possible to drag any column over the filter area and vice versa. Here we have the area where we drag the attributes by which the query is sorted. And here is the filter area we were referring to. And finally, the pages area enables us the option to include one or more attributes with values shown in controls similar to combos and selection lists. The data included in this area, which allows for different views of the query, is not found in the rest of the table. Now that we know a pivot table's basic structure, we can design the first query we proposed, meaning that we want to see the number of tourist attractions in each city for every country registered. To do this, we drag attributes country name and city name over the rows area. And then, to view the number of attractions, there is a calculation. So for example, we drag attribute attraction name to the values area. When we double click, we can see that, by default, the attribute will be automatically counted. We should note that a count is automatically applied when a non-numeric attribute is dragged over the data area. And if the data is numeric, the sum operation applies. We select View to view the query's outcome. And we see it here. Let's analyze the results on this table. First, let's change the description of the attraction name column to Attractions Quantity since the query shows the number of attractions per city. When an attribute is dragged over any area, it's considered a query element. Therefore, to modify the description, let's go to the Properties panel of the query element selected, and then edit the description property.
So, a dynamic table is being executed so we can reorganize the data. For example, let's see how the data is rearranged when we drag the city name column to the left of country name. If we go back to the original scheme, when we select the country name column, we can change the order in which we view the data to ascending or descending order in addition to selecting countries we want to see. By way of example, let's delete China and the query will be updated automatically. If we now click on city name, we do not see the city of Beijing because we deleted the country China. At any time, we can go back to the original view of the query by selecting the Restore Default View option. Now let's suppose we are only interested in defining the query to view attractions in France and China. Let's press the Edit button to return to the Edit mode, and let's add the country name attribute in the filter area. Now let's select China and France. And following are the results. Let's press View. Now let's see that by selecting the filter area, we are allowed the possibility to export the query into different formats. So, for example, let's select Export to Excel SX. We will obtain the following result. Now let's edit the query again and remove the filter to view the query in full. After defining the query, we can add the view as table and or as graph to the design so that the query is registered with access to those outputs and we press Add Table to view the output like a regular table. Note that a new tab called Table 1 is added to the query. If we want to add the view also as a graph, we should press Add Chart and select the graph type. In our example, the type of graph we will select is Pi. Finally, we press save to save our query.